Welcome to my channel. If you like my videos, then kindly subscribe, like, and watch. Thank you. Hello and welcome back. Problem 3-7. This problem is taken from chapter number 3 by uh, R.C. Hibbler and the book name is Mechanics of Material. So the statement is a structural member in a nuclear reactor is made up of zirconium alloy. If an axial load of 4 kips is to be supported by a member, determine its required cross-sectional area using a factor of safety of 3 relative to yielding what is the load on member if it is 3 meter 3 feet long and its elongation is 0 0.02 inch the modulus of elasticity of zirconium is 14 into 10 to the power 3 ksi yield strength is given the material has elastic behavior so let's start from the given data in given data it is given that axial load is of 4 kips so p is equal to 4 kips is to be supported by member determine required cross sectional area you have to find area using a factor of safety of 3 relative to yielding so factor of safety fos is 3 relative to yielding and yield strength y is equal to 57.5 ksi also mod modulus of elasticity e is given e of zirconium is equal to 14 into 10 raised to power 3 ksi here and elongation is 0 0.02 inch so change in length or elongation is 0 0.02 inch so what you have to find is in first part it is given to find the required cross sectional area so first part is to find the required cross sectional area and in second part it is given that what load on the member if it is 3 feet long so you have to find P for L is equal to 3 feet clear so let's start with the solution in first part it is given it is um, asked to find the cross sectional area so as we know that stress is equal to load per unit area clear so implies that area is equal to p divided by stress clear and this stress should be allowable stress now we do not have allowable stress but we have given factor of safety and we know that factor of safety is equal to yield strength divided by allowable strength clear because factor of safety relative to yielding that's why we are taking the yield strength so from here we have factor of safety 3 we have yield strength that is 57.5 ksi into 10 raised to power uh, 3 clear or if you are going to take as KSI, so no need to write this 10 to the power 3. Divide by allowable stress. So allowable stress from here, the allowable stress is 57.5 divided by 3, which comes out to be 19.17. So, sigma allowable is equal to 19.17 KSI. Now, we have allowable stress. We have the load as well that is given over here 4 kips. So, you can calculate the uh, cross-sectional area. So, you have to put the allowable stress in this formula. So, A is equal to P is 4 kips. So, 4 divided by allowable stress is 19.7 19.17 so from here you will get 0 0.2087 so square inch clear so cross sectional area is 0 0.2087 inch square so this is the answer of part first.
Now in second part it is given that what is the load on the member if it is 3 feet long and elongation and all the data is given. So from here we will calculate, we, will give, we have been given elongation, I will write again we have elongation that is given as 0 0.02 inch here we have E is equal to 14 into 10 to the power 3 KSI clear we have length given for 3 feet I will show you length is 3 feet long so you have to find load P again you know that stress allowable stress is equal to load per unit area clear so what we will do is that we will find this allowable stress how we will find first we will find the strain and we know that strain is equal to change in length divided by original length so change in length is 0 0.02 inch clear and length is 3 feet but you have to convert it into inch so 1, in, one feet is equal to 12, 12 inch so from here you will get the elongation that is equal to 0 0.00055 inch per inch clear so this is the strain and we know that stress is equal to strain into modulus of elasticity so strain is 0 0.00055 and modulus of elasticity is 14 into 10 to the power 3 ksi so from here you will get the allowable stress that is 7.7 .7 7 8 ks i now you have allowable stress you can put it in this formula so 7.778 7, ksi is equal to p and the area cross sectional area is this one 0 0.2087 so from here you can find the load so p will be equal to 0 0.2087 multiply by 7.778 that will be equal to 1.62 k so p load for length 3 feet is 1.62 So this is the answer of part second. This is the answer of part first. I hope you have learned from this video. Again, thank you for watching.